Ladies and gentlemen, it's egg time. I have a cat. I am holding the butt of the cat. I do not know why that this is the ritual that we must do. Hi, sweetheart. The cat will not sit on me unless I literally Hell hold her butt. I'm holding the cat's butt. Victory is death. I must okay. protect the It's okay, wife. sweetheart. Opening hand too good? I'm not sure Innervate's doing a lot for us, but I do like it. Just the butt. Yep. Ow. Edwin MDA says maybe switching out the Innervates for two Cult Masters would be good. Don't chew on my headphone cable, baby. Stefano888 says, by the way, Innervate now does mana overload, which allows you to draw if you are 10 out of 10. I feel like you are full of shit. <laughs> I have no evidence for this, but god, the feeling welling up inside of me is one of, hey, back off. Don't get me to do that shit. Fall for that again. Unless you link me to a blue post. Yes, baby cat. Yes. Yes, you're such a sweet kitten. You're such a pretty cat. Jugglers or golems are good, though. I might go with golem. I might just go straight golem in it. God, that sounds really good. That does sound like real, 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 real good. Get in there and fight, maggot! Who's ready to walk straight in? Summon two one one saplings. Boom. That's pretty accurate. All right. Hi, baby cat. You're just a lab kitten. We like to be snuggled. Savage roar. Savage roar. Savage roar. Oh my god! One time with the roar. Let's destroy this magic turtle. No turtle should be magical. What now? Where is my savage raw? Oh shit, if he whirlwinds, it doesn't summon two whelps. I hope he doesn't know that. Savage roar. Savage roar. Ah! Savage Roar! Savage Roar! Soul of the Forest! Also would be totally conducive to boners. We can draw up to four boner inducing- No! Six! Power of the Wild! <gasps> A depth bite. No! You can't do it! Shit. No brawl, 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 no brawl. Let's dodge the brawl. I'm ready to have a brawl in good time with no brawl. No brawl. It's getting close, Artosis. What now? If he doesn't have the brawl, it could be over. Don't eat the string. Don't eat it. I know it's a string and we play string all the time. But it has electricity inside of it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. It's expensive. Savage Roar. Savage Roar. He has no brawl. We have no cards, but he has no brawl. We can draw up to six cards. Two Savage Roars, two Soul of the Forest, or two Jeeves. Oh, a Savage Roar would be huge right now. A Savage Roar! An echoing ooze? Oh, Jesus. All right. The game is still incredibly close, Artosis. God, I need that not to be... A, a, oh, I need it. 
This <laughs> is cabbage more, cabbage door, babbage floor, savage roar. <laughs> 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 Dude, you give me a unit, I will give you its sound. This is the Inspire Get Ripped! No, that's the Lance Carrier shit. Stupid TGT cards that no one knows the name of because only three of them are playable. Oh, it's a Lance Carrier. Am I counting this correctly? Fuck. Hit and hit one, two, three, four, five, six. What? It's not lethal, nerds. My shield for Argon. We did not win. He has an armor smith. Chad. <laughs> I wish chat would just stop it. It gets me excited and I get so sad. <laughs> Good old chat lethal. Ha! Called you out on that one, didn't I? Bam! <gasps> Rank 19, day 9, making other people feel dumb. You don't necessarily know how to play. This is in the realm where you can lose stars. Oh my god, toasted. Holy shit! He just sacrificed himself. Oh my god! GG! <laughs> I scared the cat! It's okay, sweetheart. Oh! <laughs> GG! <laughs> yes, very well, Bada. Oh, don't think. Let's try this one out. <laughs> Add in the Sea Giant. I actually think the Sea Giant wouldn't necessarily help because it would be like the only big minion. And people will often have a lot of answers to big minions, so if I wanted to get some big minions in there, I feel like I would want several? <laughs> several big minions? Instead of just like the one or two big minions? And that would slow the whole deck down. And you know, no, no, I don't like to go, 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 slow, slow, slow. Bro, 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 bro. Shanel's up, red alert. <laughs> Rot. Dog of War, that? Sergeant Mentos, Commander Mander, and Hubalana. My hope is that you are well. We're having some fun, we're playing the video game here. Having a good time. Now to answer, I think uh, this is such an important question. Blink 18,260,000 says, does it ever feel odd that 4,000 people are just sitting around watching you play video games? It's actually not. It's not very weird. No! He's gonna kill it! No! Uh, and it has nothing to do with the other person's side of the equation. It has to do with me just being comfortable alone in a room talking to myself. With a cat, you're a real person, your presence is oh, so sweet. Oh no, not harmful. Oh, sorry, I dropped this on you, my, my sweet girl. The Circus of Value. 
That's it. That's that's really the thing. And that was the hardest to get used to when doing the show. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Ugh. Where's my defender of Snurgus? Very well. Ugh. 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 Uh. Now a little hope comes into play. Now a little hope comes into play. At this point, it's important to have hope. Because, if I get a Defender of Nergus, I can stabilize all over this. Reporting for duty. You fucking what, mate? Okay. So, I think I need to do this every single time. Uh, let's see. In what order do I wish to do this in? One, two... Okay. Let's do it like this first. Okay. So, we kill this. It could resurrect the nerd. Okay, it's fine. This is okay. Savage roar. Savage roar. Savage roar. Reporting for duty. Seed man. Just thinking says, any stories of people catching you talking out loud in your apartment alone? Well, for the first five years I did the show, I lived in a house. Four years. For the first few years, I lived in a house with all excellent humans. Whoops! Sorry, baby cat. I didn't mean to hit you with a pen. Dude, my legs are getting exhausted. Indeed. These nerds out of here. <gasps> Living roots. A dragon egg. So it was, it was all good. I don't have any problems in these apartments. This apartment has thick walls. They are so thick. Hi, baby cat. You're my cat. All right. Let's dump the hand. I make my intentions known, because we got turn two, turn three, and turn four. Yeah. I remember when Sean did some day offs with roommates next to him. Those were really fun. Yeah, man. I actually talked to Kyla on the way home today. Maybe I'll kill him. That'll show him who the real boss is. I'm glad we got an interview out of him, though. That's pretty sick. That's pretty thick. Manor says, do I like cold weather? I like very mild weather. I do I do miss the snow. Asia 3. 
Really? Okay. Not sure how to go forward with this, so we're just gonna go to the face, to the face, to the f -f 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 face. Oh, yes. Mmm. I want to tell a story. Are there any good stories out there that I could just tell? Kind of any stories I could tell? Oh, jeez. Oh no! Ah, oh, one turn too late. Oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa! Actually, I'm just gonna. I'm going to kill him like this to the face. You know, what's a good? I don't, I don't know. Like, all I do is work on the game, play games, pet the cats. That's about it. I have no time for games. Oh, that sucks. I have no time for games! Here's the dream. He kills this, and then Savage Roar. So what are, what are... It's a good story. I must safeguard the land. <laughs> Fuck, man. Stefano says, I remember my brother watching a really old YouTube of yours, and it was about how every girl loves a guy who has a yo-yo. You were like, fuck, I gotta get a yo-yo. Yeah, dude, true story. True story. I was... <laughs> this is when I was in sixth grade, and yo-yos just became a thing. Like, all the most popular people and jocks had yo-yos. And they were all like, doing the thing and they pick them they did the baby in the cradle and did around the world like i know the move the names to yo-yo moves because when i was in sixth grade which is like the most important thing <laughs> was to be cool like nothing mattered like they could cut my legs off and as long as that made me cooler get them rid of get them both out <laughs> what a weird way to say a sentence get them both out <laughs> these legs that are now in get them out yeah, oh my god. And like, yo-yos were so cool. And I was like, Mom, I need a yo-yo. Oh my god, give me a yo-yo. And we went and we looked at the ones that looked like our glassy things that were like very sharp. And the ones that were like round, that were like $100 that could thoroughly yo-yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Actually, I realize what the story is about now. It's about derpy trends. No, don't. No. No. All right, I need another small creature. I need another small creature. Shit, don't kill this one. No. Not small enough. <laughs> and then I think we're good. I think we just passed the turn. Yeah, man, I just, I needed this yo-yo, and I was, oh my god, please, mom, I get a yo-yo, I need to get a yo-yo instructional VHS, I need these, because I'm gonna be cool. Oh, no, that's what I do, oh, oh, what a monster, I fuck off, see. so I needed this yo-yo. And then I finally got a yo-yo, and you know what happened? I wasn't as good as the cool kids. That sucked. That's what really sucked the most. That was the worst thing that had ever happened to me, was to work so hard to get a yo-yo, to have finally achieved ownership of a yo-yo. 
And then it'd just be bad. Like, oh my god, burn the pain into my heart. Oh, like StarCraft was was getting ready to come out. Like StarCraft was not even like out at this point in time. That is the person that you were talking to right now. StarCraft was not out. All I had was this fucking yo-yo. That was my identity. Oh, I'm Sean, I have a yo-yo. Like that's all that there was that you needed to know. And, I mean, if you watch classical media, actually any media, if you just watch the television or the film or the movie or read the book or play the game, it doesn't matter. There's the popular jock and the frowny nerd with acne. And what happens? I think we all know this story. What happens? The nerd beats the jock at something that's actually important, right? The jock, he's good at football. There's actually nothing wrong with, but for some reason it's vilified in these. That is the thing that the jock's good at, but the nerd is smart. And he, my god, he uses his smarts. And he uses his smarts for the power of good that day. And that's what he, that's what he does. That's, what, that's his shit. But imagine, if there's that jock who plays football, oh, and there's nothing wrong with football again, but I don't know, for some reason it's vilified. He plays football, and imagine that nerd going, and now I'm gonna play football! And then he hops on the field, and they beat the shit out of him. The end. That story is not gonna make it to air, because no one wants to watch that story. And that is the story of Sean Danine plot with his yo-yo. The jocks were better than I was at the yo-yo, and I couldn't, I emotionally, I couldn't handle that. That was, that was a little too much for wee little Sean. Who we killing now, huh? Too much, too much, man. Oh, it was wrenching. You wanna do it to this one? No, I want to do this one. For the wild. Oh Jesus, I forgot to get plus two because I'm a dummy. It doesn't matter. That was me with the yo-yo, right? Oh my god, I'm not that good at the yo-yo. I gotta learn to get good at the yo-yo. So you know what I did? I went home for like a week. I don't even know if I went to school. I think I was just like, Mom, I'm vomiting blood. And she was like, all right, I guess he doesn't go to school now. She didn't question me. She understood that I was a medical professional in the sixth grade. I didn't need to have my evaluation of my own illness questioned, right? She was a very good mother. <laughs> Story out weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I remember, though, devoting, like, the whole week, all I did was practice the yo-yo. That was it! It was yo-yos, day and night. I All I thought about was yo-yos. I learned the names to, like, weird things that sounded more like sex positions than yo-yo moves, you know? <laughs> this is, this is the irreverent crustacean, is what this is. This is a hot lobster. That's the move I'm about to show you with my yo-yo. Let's take that, let's, let's whip my yo-yo out. And you know what I'm gonna show you? I'm gonna show you the stony clam. I don't know why everything's related to the ocean here. I don't know, maybe I had, <laughs> maybe I had a uh, Little Mermaid themed yo-yo instructional handbook. Get out there, guys. We're about to double savage roar. Uh-oh, the light's out. Kick the cord till it comes back. About to, about to do the hot lobster. So, I spent the whole week trying to learn yo-yos. Spent the entire week, a whole weekend, fuck, a whole weekend, every weekday, that's all I talked about, that's all I thought about, I was a guy with a yo-yo. I can see. And I get to school on Monday. I show up. I had two yo-yos at that point because I needed to practice different moves on different yo-yos. I show up to school that Monday 
And uh, it's now all about hacky sacks. That was what happened. It became about hacky sacks. You don't know how I fucking hate hacky sacks. Like st to this day, I see some guy doing tricks with a hacky sack, and I'm like, fuck him. Like irrationally angry because I practiced the yo-yo so much for a week because I wanted to impress Felicity in sixth grade. Ooh, I was gonna really show the show her how to. I don't even know what the verb is. Uh, I I want to show her how to do a yo-yo, right? I wanted to. Sh I want to show her how to yo, and then hacky sacks come out, and everyone's. And you know all the popular kids were doing. They were being pretty good at hacky sacks for sixth graders, and I hated them. I hated them. Like if they all died, like just poof, just exploded into body parts. I would have been like, yes, I get to show off these yo-yo moves before they figure out the hacky sack craze from somewhere else. I was about to show her the hot lobster. <laughs> I was about to pull out that hot lobster. We lost the game, but really we won the story time. Fuck hacky sacks. I hate hacky sacks to this day. And there was also some NES sports game um, that I played that I can't remember. What was it called? It was like... California Sports, I think is what it was called. Victory or death. I must protect. You know what I'm saying? I'm not so sure. Not so sure about Harvest Golem. Get him out of here. Dancing Rissy says, I just sat there and wrote journal entries about the same boy over and over and over. At least you did something. I don't know if you should demean yourself like that. I think everyone did that. I think everyone did that. I think everyone, at some age, just got the love in them. It just came into them. Now, oh, that who runs whirlwind? Now, as an adult, I realize that you can actually <laughs> use rational decision making to your advantage. Like, well, we don't have anything in common, so I don't. Speak to me. So we're not gonna date. Why would I date someone that I don't have anything in common with? Right? These are the very reasoned conversations that I feel like a brain comes into. But when you when you're young, love just happens to you. You're just like, <gasps> I have an acute case of in love with you, and you just, oh my god, you would drink their vomit. You'd love them so much. Like, <laughs> like if they became a zombie in the zombie movie and wanted to devour you, you would just let them, just in case a little bit of who they were was still in there, and you could just show them how into them you were, right? So that way, while they were devouring your neck, you they would maybe, oh, he really likes me, isn't that nice? Isn't that a reprieve from being a zombie for the rest of my life? Like, you love someone when you're, when you're that young. And, I mean, so, like, <sighs> uncontrollably in love with this person, that no problem. actually I'll never have any memory of. Oh shit, that was the wrong one, wasn't it? It's fine, the story's better than the game. The story's better than the game. Look, there are people that I was just, like, I would have died for, and I just can't remember their name. I have, like, a little bit of an image, like, oh yeah, was it? didn't she exist then? Oh my god, I would have done anything for them. At all. And I think I did do some unbelievably dumb, I mean, I know I've, I know I've done dumb things. Dumb, youthful, little, childish thing. Oh, my, you love, do you love me? Um, God, I'm even remembering all sorts of people I knew that when they were young, they just were, they were insane. Who runs Whirlwind? Oh, that sucks, we're gonna lose to this guy. This deck looks bad. It's okay. Can I help you, sir? Can I help you, sir? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I remember being on the bus. And this kid leans out the window, and there's a girl holding hands with a boy. I don't remember the girl's Lovely name. It was something like Lindsay or Joanna. Like it did. I don't even remember. She could have been anybody. 
she's utterly forgettable in the grand scheme of things. But this impassioned sixth grader leans outside of the bus window and says, You don't deserve her! As we're driving away. Like, while we're leaving. Like, he was looking out the window the whole time, and they were just there holding hands. And he was just bubbling up with anger, looking at them just being there together. And right when the bus started to move, I don't know if that's what he was waiting for. I don't know if he just couldn't handle it anymore. But is it, you don't deserve her! And then he had to sit back down because we were in a bus. Isn't that sad? <laughs> Isn't that sad how that's how that story turned out? I feel like we're dead as shit, but we're going to keep playing. I find that... <laughs> Let's get a panther go now. Isn't that sad? Because in any media, if you watch classical media, when the bus is going away, you don't deserve her, it cuts to another scene of them going, Oh my god, but I'm a good boyfriend, and it shows him getting home. It doesn't show him sitting back down on the bus, because the bus driver said, Hey, sit back down. You missed that part of the story. <laughs> but there he was sitting there, the, uh, uh. I don't even think in America they tell you what a boner is then. You just have one. You're ah, just angry. Ah, ah. Because love happened to you. You're aroused. You're mad. No one's explained any of this to you. They have just tried to make sure that you show up to school at 8 a.m. That's the only thing that really matters in America. They don't teach you any romance, any interpersonal um, relationship skills. They don't teach you what your feelings mean. They don't teach you anything about your sexuality. So what you wind up doing is yelling out of a bus window with an erection. Isn't that sad? <laughs> That's what happened to that kid. And there I am, trying to figure out yo-yos. So if you want to make fun of him, think again. You already have an apt target. <laughs> Let's give him the roar, you know what I mean? Boy, I think we've lost. <laughs> you can see. I don't even know what happened in this game. I have no idea. I wasn't really there for this game. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some water. <laughs> I'm going to come back. And I'm actually just going to keep telling you stories. Because I'm having a lot of fun doing that. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.